Hi there everybody, my name is Jacob and today I'm going to be showing you how to import a CSV file or comma separated values file into MySQL directly, that is into a table in MySQL. So let's go ahead and just get started. First things first, you're going to need a database um, and I've got one right here that we're going to be importing a little bit of uh, some CSV information into. Um, my database is called Missouri underscore weather and then you're also going to need a table that is fitted to or is ready to receive the data that you're about to put into it. So I've already got several cities here uh, in the state of Missouri or several airport codes I should say that um, I have designed to receive data from a source that I've downloaded it from off the internet and the data are downloaded or the data is downloaded as a CSV file and then I'm importing the CSV files directly into these tables. So today we're going to be concentrating on this uh, Fort Leonard Wood OBS table and that's the table we're going to want to import our data into. Now we already have our file downloaded and it's sitting out here in my downloads so you kind of zoom in. The file's name is uh, tbn underscore 2000 underscore 07 2022 which is just showing me that um, the, the data ranges between the year 2000 and uh, July 28th of 2022 which is the day that I'm making this video. It is a uh, Microsoft Excel comma separated values file it's about uh, 36,000 kilobytes and if we want to take a look at what this file looks like in notepad well here it is um, that's a lot of uh, a lot of gibberish to us but each one of these rows here is uh, it, it contains a lot of information and there is a lot of stuff in this file so I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of that I'm gonna save the changes that I made to it and we're gonna get back here into my sequel so here is the command that we're going to be using to get this data into MySQL, and it's called load data in file. So I'm going to kind of center in and, and zoom in on this a little bit. Um, so basically, there's uh, there's five lines to this. The first line is the load data in file line, and in between these two little uh, single quotation marks, we're going to place our basically the location of our document. So we're going to place the file path and the file name in there. We're gonna put the table that we're loading it into over here, um, and I've just kind of got some example text there, but we're actually gonna import it into the um, Missouri underscore weather dot Fort Leonard, and I'm pretty sure I misspelled Leonard Wood Ops table. Um, and then basically the third line is going to be fields terminated by and in these these uh, single quotation marks is a comma so it's a comma separated values file otherwise known as the CSV um, so everything is separated by commas and it's going to be the fields will be enclosed by our quotation marks and then the lines terminated by this backslash n character which is otherwise known as like the null terminator or the null operator or just the null character um, basically telling C equal that whenever we get to the end of each line, each separate line, um, we're going to want to uh, essentially start over and begin entering data into a new into uh, a new record. So that's our that's our uh, query that we're going to be running. Now we've got to do a little bit of work with the file first. So as I said earlier, this is the file hanging out here in my downloads folder. Um, and the thing is, is we can't really import that file directly as it stands right now. If we try to do that, and I'm just going to go ahead and hop back over here, I will go ahead and copy uh, the file path which is C users Jacob downloads and we don't need the C with a colon uh, we can just copy the file path and uh, and put it in there I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in we're just gonna you know pop that file path in there and then the name of the file which is backslash um, and then the name of the file which is TBN underscore 2000 underscore 07 2022 and it's a CSV file so this right here and uh, this right here basically represents where our file is on the computer and um, what the files name is so we're giving it the address we're giving SQL the files address where it lives at um, one thing of note is that each of these little backslash backslashes here we need to we need to write two of them we need to put two of them into our load data in file line otherwise we will get an error no matter what so we've got it all set up right you know we've got our load data in file we're we're going to import it from here we're going to pop it into this uh into our table we've got everything set up 
and then let's go ahead and just zoom out and run this thing. We click on it and we're gonna get an error. And if we go down towards the very bottom of the page, you can see here the load data in file, and I know it's really blown up, um, but I want you to see the error code here. Um, error code 29, file, and then the, the file C slash user slash uh, and so forth, basically the file not found, and then over here, permission denied. So we're going to get a permission denied error anytime we try to import a file that is not in a specific file path location on the computer. That's just something that is specific to MySQL. I know that there's a way that you can disable that, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to show you where you can actually put that CSV file so that this is going to this query will run correctly. So we're going to start off by going here um, into our this PC folder, in my case going to my local disk. Um, we're going to find the program data folder. We're going to find MySQL MySQL Server 8.0, and it's this folder right here. It's this Uploads folder. We're going to click on that, and you can see we already have several folders that I've created with different airport names um, that are designed to basically play host to um, the data that we're putting in. But basically, anything, will it'll work as long as you get the file into the Uploads folder within the MySQL Server 8.0 folder. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our TBN folder because I've already downloaded some data into that. And I'm simply going to uh, minimize that. I'm going to go to where our, uh, our file is currently located. Um, sorry, downloads here. And I'm just going to take that file. I'm going to drag and drop it into our uploads thing. So now if we go ahead and we copy the, um, if we can copy the file path here, our, um, this thing right there this is going to allow us to um, to pop the data in there. So we're going to replace all of these with that. And then a couple more backslashes. And we're going to have to make sure that every single backslash gets two backslashes. So each one of these has to be two. And so in the end, whenever we're ready to put everything in there, this is what it's going to look like. Load data in file, and then everything is located within these two tick marks on either side. Um, and then this is the file path. And then we've got the file name right here. So this query should be ready to go. And now all I'm going to do is highlight the query. I'm going to press the run uh, button. It looks like a little lightning bolt. And you can see down here, we're waiting for it. And we have a successful run. So we come over here, look at this, uh, 151,896 rows affected. That's a lot of data. And it took us all of, I'm going to zoom in really close on that. I don't know if you can see it because I know my camera's blocking the way, but it took 4.062 seconds to put all that in there. So that is the fastest way to get data into MySQL um, or into a table in MySQL from a CSV file. Now there is another way to do that or another way to accomplish this and one way to do it would be to right click and we would right click on our table. We would come down here to the table data import wizard and then we would be able to put our file path in here and then we would click next and I know it's not going to let me click next because we don't have a file path but basically it would guide us through the process of popping a CSV file into a table and this this way actually um, you can you can import a CSV file from any location on your computer it does not have to be um, it does not have to be in in this particular in this particular directory or this particular file path right here. It can be in another file path. Um, but the thing is, is that this way of doing it is really really slow. It will take to to do what I just did, uh, import about 150,000 records. It would probably take it, no joke, somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. Whereas it took this query all of four seconds to run and maybe a minute and a half or two minutes to move the file and then and then uh, write out the query for it. So it's a much faster way, much more efficient way of putting CSV files into tables in MySQL. And um, it's uh, it definitely saves a, a whole lot of time. So I just figured I'd do a video showing anybody who would like to watch um, how to do this since I struggled with this actually for quite a while before I came up on the solution. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope to be uploading more videos in the future. So uh, please do subscribe.